Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. We just picked up our third storage unit of the week. This was actually a live auction. I only paid $20 for this. I thought I was gonna get it for less, but somebody thought they'd be smart and bid me up $20. So 20 bucks for this. Fingers crossed we got some awesome stuff in here. Without further ado, let's get digging. All right, guys, so there's a lot of cardboard in this unit, which I know, but luckily right by our house, we have a 24 hour recycling facility, so that doesn't charge a dime. So we can bring all the cardboard there and get rid of it absolutely free, no problem. But we have this thing, which I don't really know what it is, table, I guess. Who knows? There's your cut lock. And is that a human hand? A premium soft practice hand. That's gotta be one of the weirdest things I've ever found because I just don't know what it's for. Oh, beauty school students. Okay, that makes it a little less creepy. And I don't wanna know what I was thinking about at first, but. A hand, well, all right then. This is definitely something I've never came across yet, so no idea how much something like that would cost, but. Crooked fingers. It's a crooked fingers for real. <laughs> what do we got in this bag? Let's see. Looks like all. Yeah, like beauty stuff. Mock relaxer, maybe? I don't know. Mock tent. This might go with the hand. Maybe it's used to practice. Uh, let's see. A lot of these containers are empty, so a lot of this plastic probably is going to be trash. So We'll still look into pockets and stuff in the bag. What we got down here? Some empty packets. Like This unit might be like all trash. Bought for 20 bucks. Why not take the gamble? Yeah, but you, somebody might want this Jump. bag for, I mean, because everything's labeled and stuff, and then yeah. you're a beauty school student. They could. You could use That's it true, all. too. This is a cosmetology school packet, so whoever this was, was in some type of beauty school. These hallways are tight. Look at this. Like, seriously. I can't even, like, extend my arms. This is it. I can only, like, put my elbows up. I wish that was in here. An iRobot Roomba. That'd be nice. Those are expensive. Look at this dusty suitcase. This will probably just be dust though. This will probably come off. These suitcases are usually five or ten dollars at the flea market, so. Is it all junk in here? Oh yes it is. Literally nothing but trash. Anything in here? Eh. No. So like I said though, clean the suitcase up. We'll get ten. That's a big one. That'll probably be a ten dollar one. The smaller ones usually five bucks. That'll probably be ten. A laptop case, an ethernet cable, ooh, an Xbox One box. Can that be in here? The ethernet cable, some other stuff. What is this? Like a bike lock, it looks like. And, ew, is that a cookie? It looks like it. That looks like an old cookie. Nothing else in there. Laptop case, usually five bucks as well. As long as all the zippers work. We gotta check the zippers and stuff when we get home, but probably five bucks. A Halo Xbox One box. What's with all the boxes for these electronics? Like, you see this too. I can see this is empty when I bought the unit, but a 46 inch smart TV. We don't see it in here, so I'm gonna guess this isn't in here either. Well, obviously it's not in here, but. Is that codes? Uh oh. Xbox Live code. It might already have been redeemed because this thing is ripped up, but if anyone needs some Xbox Live, maybe it'll work. Like I said, uh, this thing was ripped up already. Oh, actually, that's Halo. I didn't even realize it's Xbox. Oh, that's Halo, the Master Chief Collection there. Full game download. What is this one? That's 14 days Xbox Live. No idea if these have been used yet, guys, so try them out. I would keep them myself, but I hate Halo. <laughs> I'm an Xbox supporter that hates Halo. There's not many of us. All right, let's get the Nest TV box. Ooh, this feels kind of heavy. Not nothing, unfortunately. Just cardboard. Ooh. Lots of cardboard here. Stay. There's like lots of folded boxes and stuff. I don't even know why I store this. What is this? Another electric pump. Why don't we find pumps so much? Like, I swear you get pumps like a lot. I guess for air mattresses. But this one's electric. Hey, there's a receipt for it. How much did this cost? 25 bucks new, so five dollars maybe. Nothing too exciting yet. 
don't know why that's here. But a lamp. Oh boy. It's actually a fairly decent one too. It looks nice. This will probably fit another five dollars. Maybe if it works. It's got a few skip uh, scuffs on it, so hopefully it works. Man, I can't even keep bringing stuff out here for much longer. Like we have such a small hallway. This looks like it's full of Hello? stuffed animals or something. Some clothes. But eh, should I rip it open or not? Let's see. Hey, it looks like a military hat. It looks like Navy. Is it? It's got somebody's name in it. You see the seal? Don't show the bottom, it's got their name, but that'll probably be something in return. Hmm. Honor before money, guys. I'd rather return somebody's military hat than make money off it. But that. Just start putting stuff in this corner so we can get out. Yeah, we're gonna be trapped in a second. <laughs> Lightning McQueen cars. And a few other random stuffed animals as well. Some type of polar bear. If it's a Coke bear, some of those are worth money. No, it's just Christmas. Yeah, grandmother stuff. <laughs> Shit like that. I said, guys, I can fit it all in one car load and it's under like $40. I'm always gonna take the gamble. Even if it looks like trash, you never know. Is that completely empty? Well, a dime! <laughs> <laughs> a dime and a Sharpie. Yeah, you need both of those. Oh, joy. <laughs> Well, at least we can put stuff in that tub. This is too. Like, what the heck, man? Somebody really cleaned this sucker out and then left it here. Hundred percent. But at least, we, like, you, like you said, we have two things to store stuff in. So. Oh, um, so Dang. I thought that was the door to a safe, and they just like cracked it open and took it. Uh oh. <laughs> what is that? A paper cutter? Yeah. More cardboard. And we got. Coffee maker, it looks like Mr. Coffee. Coffee. It's dirty, but again, a couple Lysol wipes in five minutes, that thing will clean up. And what's in the TV box? Nothing, huh? Styrofoam. Nothing behind the cardboard. No hidden, like, million oh. dollars or nothing. This piece of wood, cardboard, and wall. And we got That's the it. dirty sleigh back here, too. Or it looks like a sleigh. Yeah, it is. Another dirty sleigh. So, not the most exciting storage unit, guys. We've got a bunch of trash mostly, but we do have a, what is that, a bag. We'll look through all the compartments of the suitcase. We'll go through all the stuff in the bag and make sure we don't. there's nothing hidden. But anyway, it's a fun treasure hunt, and we'll at least make our money back plus a little on the side. There's a freaking centipede crawling out of here. That's just, here. look right by that bag. That's great. Hi, buddy. That is great. That's all you know how clean this place is. Beautiful, clean place, but lots of trash, lots of cardboard, but the cardboard doesn't cost nothing to get rid of. So we'll take everything home, do a recap and show you what we got. Guys, it's not in here, but look at this. I wish this would have been in here. A Thompson M1928 BB gun or airsoft gun, actually. That would have been such an epic find, but as of now, we're just still moving cardboard. Nothing else exciting, but I just thought I'd show that. So still gonna do the recap once we get back. All right, guys, so we just kind of went through everything before we got in the car, and literally everything in this unit is junk. I don't think there's one, th actually, there's one thing we're keeping. I'll show you when we get home. It's not expensive at all, other than the tote. We'll keep the tote and one other thing, but just wanted to show you we found another hat, and in one of the bags with all the toys, a bunch of patches. So this guy was 100% in the uh, US Navy. There's another one, um, Patrol Squadron 30, and then the last one has his name on it, so I don't really want to show it, but. A bunch of patches from the Navy, two Navy hats, so we definitely got the unit of someone that was in the Navy, but these hats and this were waiting until 2 o'clock to go return the stuff in, it's actually 2 now, go turn the stuff back into the front so then get it back to them, and then we're probably just going to take this whole unit straight to the dump, because it was a complete bust. But anyway, that's what happens sometimes, so I'll see you then. Alright guys, let's do a recap on the absolutely greatest storage unit I've ever bought in my entire life. Obviously that's sarcasm, please tell me you guys know it's sarcasm. So. 99.9% .9 of everything in there was garbage. We didn't even keep the tote because there was a bug in it. We didn't even want to take it in. It threw almost everything in the dump right away on the way home. The suitcases had broken zippers. I mean, just everything was just junk, pretty much. This thing does work, but it was only the 25 bucks brand new. So used, it's only like five to $10, not that great, but at least that one thing worked. 
the hand. I kept the hand just because I thought it would be funny. I don't know what really is, what to do with it. They sell for ten dollars new used. I mean, it's like three to four dollars. So I don't really. Did I just break it? I might have just broke it. Okay, now that goes back in. I was about to say, but it's just a weird hand with crooked, broken fingers, and we got a hand. <laughs> and this thing, all the stuffed animals, a lot of them were destroyed, but we have this one. It has a twenty dollars price tag on it, so it's cool and it does work. And the bear talks. I don't know. Can the camera see his mouth? The bear's mouth moves and stuff, and you talks and does the Twas the Night Before Christmas thing. So that's really something my grandmother's like was really liked when we brought it in. So we got her something. I got a hand. I don't know what to do with. It's kind of funny. And we got an electric pump that might fetch five or ten dollars from the flea market. Other than that, guys, we basically paid to take someone else's trash to the dump. You know, some people are gonna say that this probably shouldn't have been a video, but at the same time, like, I want to show like this is the reality of it. Not just like show all the great hauls over and over and over again. Like you just get great stuff all the time. A lot of times you will pay to literally take someone else's trash to the dump. That's what happens a lot of times with this stuff. Maybe not a whole lot, but it does happen, and that's the only reason I wanted to leave it as a video because you just never know. It's a gamble. You can get this, or you can get the thousand, five hundred dollars, twenty dollar unit I got in Maryland. You just never know. But anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs. Okay, that, that was a failed attempt at a thumbs up, but big fat thumbs up. <laughs> and if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos every single day, storage unit videos, dumpster driving videos, thrift stores, the art sales when that season comes back, all kinds of treasure hunting videos every single day. And if you want to follow us on our social media links, they'll be on screen. Just click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.